Mary, thanks. To Pueblo County now, where the state patrol is still investigating how a truck carrying 400 pounds of oxygen tanks slammed into a house there. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live along East Highway 50 near Avondale, where it all happened. Barbara. Bert, Heather, that truck was actually traveling on US 50 East on this highway right here, and it actually lost control of the vehicle and actually ran straight into this wired fence right here. And if I hop over it, you can see pretty much the exact path to where it collided straight into this home right here. Thankfully, the auction inside the vehicle did not rupture, but the truck did hit a natural gas meter outside the home, causing a leak. The fire department here was able to contain that leak. State Patrol says the truck driver was not hurt and no one was inside the home, but the truck won't be removed until the gas line is redirected from the house. As for what the role the weather may have played, that's still being investigated. We understand that uh, people do have a necessity to travel. Uh, we just ask that people travel safely and uh, take a little bit more uh, precaution. As I said, uh, we're still determining the cause of this crash. Uh, so I would ask that uh, everyone please uh, exercise a little bit more caution, especially under these conditions. The truck will not be removed from the home for the next two to three days so the utilities crews can work on the ruptured gas line. Tonight, we learned a family was actually supposed to move into this home, but obviously due to this crash, they will not be able to do that. Tonight, they're still gathering the belongings that they actually already moved into that home tonight. Reporting live in Pueblo County, Barbara Fox, Cardio, News Channel 13. Oh, that poor family. Uh, moving is such a day. headache, and yeah, to add all of that on top of it. over now, yeah. Wow. Tonight, 13 Investigates is looking into cars disappearing for weeks and in one case, nine months after being towed in Colorado Springs. We found drivers who were forced to file police reports and lawsuits just to get their cars back. And investigative reporter Dan Beatty has uncovered a loophole in state law that's letting it happen. Tonight, he's pressing regulators and lawmakers for answers in this 13 Investigates special report, Towing Troubles. Um, it was a Thursday evening. When John Mortland's Honda CRV slid into a curb on the north side of Colorado Springs, he filed a claim with his auto insurance provider, USAA. A truck from Swift Towing came out a little more than an hour later. The plan as I understood it is they would store it overnight and get it to Caliber Collision the next day. Four days after the tow, Mortland's auto insurance provider couldn't tell him where the car was because they had no record of a tow ever taking place. Two days later, Moreland paid a visit to Swift Towing. They had absolutely no record of the vehicle in their inventory at all. So at that point, they had no idea where the car was. That's when Moreland filed a 